Hey guys, welcome back to the Critterverse. It is uh, attempting a bloom time, so let's see how we do. I've got uh, about three and a half ounces of my uh, Fuji Tim medium viscosity one to one that I have run through the airless and gotten up to about 34 degrees Celsius. And for today's colors, I have hot pink, which you know shows red, and Bordeaux red. And this is a resin pigment, and this is an alcohol ink. So we're going to try both and see what we can get. Uh, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to try to do a rose. So let's see how that goes. Two drops of the Bordeaux in the middle. And then we're going to go around with the other red. And then just let that settle down. Meanwhile, half an ounce of resin. Hmm, looks like a poppy. And I'm going to be adding one and a half drops of my white pigment paste. And one, two, three, four drops of my white resin pigment my sturdy stick translucent but it's good it looks like so I'm gonna add one more of the Bordeaux and then go in with a little more of the regular red. Oh, I'm out of this stuff. Why am I clogged? You know what? Let me unclog it. Just gonna take a thumbtack. And unclog that hole in my color. Okay. So there's that. Pretty. Now, since I want to do a rose, I am going to be doing dashes. For my petals. I think I'm actually going to add a little bit more Illumilite. Just one more drop because I think I'm, I'm going to need it a little more opaque than that. Move my wipey mat over here for my stick. Yeah, that's better. starting to thicken up now it's leaving a little plob in the middle so let's go in first around the outside around the outside
Okay. I think we're going to leave it at that. So let me get... Start encouraging that person to move around. Okay. And what I'm going to do is over here. Right there and right there. I'm going to put a dot of green. For leaves, obviously. So I'm just going to let that settle and we'll be back. All right. This first layer is cured enough for me to do the second layer. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is I have about two ounces of um, Fujitim uh, uh, one to one medium viscosity. And I'm going to be adding my Renfio Mica Flakes in moss. So essentially what I'm going to do is just chuck a load of the flakes in to the resin and mix them in. So All right, so that's that. So let's put it on the back, shall we? These flakes are pretty. They really are. All right. So there we go. We'll let that sit and come back to it. Good morning. We are back and it is time to demold. On the back, you can see this mica flake that we added in really gave a beautiful, beautiful shimmer to the back. I think it turned out really cool back here. And uh, with that being that moss color, it, I, I really think it's going to go beautifully with uh, the flower on the front. And I have not peeked, so I don't know. So we're going to be seeing this together for the first time. Thank you, Mr. Mold. Just looking, I don't see one bubble, not even on the sides. 
not even on the sides, not one bubble. So this resin is just, oh, I'm so impressed with it, my gosh. All right, let's turn it over, shall we? One, two, three. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, I think this is the best one I've done so far. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is stunning. That is stunning. I am so pleased with that. Look at that. It is stunning. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope you guys like it as much as I do. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, okay. So let me know what you think. Leave me a note down in the comments. Like, subscribe, do all that hoo-ha. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Cheers.